In this video, we'll cover all basics of customizing the DX Data Grid edit form. I've already created a simple web page, added the DX Data Grid widget, and defined a data source with columns. And here's the grid. It displays information on employees. Now let's enable grid editing. I'll specify the Edit Enabled and Insert Enabled options. Let's see the result. By default, it's set to Row Mode. You can edit the grid in four different modes, Row, Batch, Cell, and Form. We just saw how the Row Mode works. Now, let's enable the form editing to edit data in a separate edit form. And let's take a look at this mode. As you can see, the grid automatically renders the name and text from the data source field for each editor. It renders a lookup editor for a lookup column and a date box editor for a column with the data type set to date. Okay. Let's add validation rules for columns to validate input within grid cells. I'll define the validation rules option for the position and birth date columns. Let's see how it works. The defined rules don't allow an end user to enter invalid data into grid cells. Now let's group editors by overall information. I'll assign an array of specified items to the editing.form.items option. Here's a group form section consisting of a caption and child form items. I can customize the layout options for each group separately. Let's look at this in the browser. Now the data is grouped. I can also specify custom options for a separate editor. Let's customize the birth date editor. I've already set the name of the data source field containing data for the DX form. Now I'll specify configuration options to use the editor options and set the minimum and maximum values that are allowed for selection. And let's take a look. Now you can select only dates between 1960 and 1997. And that's it. To learn more about the DX Data Grid widget, make sure to check out our documentation on our website. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.